The ocean is a huge and boundless water wasteland. It seemed to be a peaceful and calm place, but not when you are on a new Chinese aircraft carrier and the whole world is watching you closely. Each drone, fighter, or submarine is closely watching all your actions through radar and trying to predict your next move. And this is not surprising when the aircraft carrier for the aircraft carrier they are watching is the latest Chinese development, armed even more than you can imagine. Such a ship carries more than 30 types of weapons, including even nuclear weapons. Recall that the Chinese also successfully tested it not so long ago, and the tests were so successful that the United States declared it impossible to intercept missiles of this type in the air defense armor. Also guns weighing 3,000 tons, an inch in the size of a truck. All these are not just words, but facts about the new Chinese aircraft carriers. Does America even have a chance to resist such a fleet? Let's figure it out. You are on the Caro Show channel. Enjoy watching. It is not for nothing that the U.S. military considers China its main potential enemy, and in general, in terms of technical support, the People's Liberation Army of China can compete for the right to be called the best in the world. And China is doing its best to confirm this. On June 17, 2022, China launched the first Type 003-class aircraft carrier. This ship will be one of a kind. It can already be included in the list of the best aircraft carriers because even in size it is definitely not inferior to the American Nimitz and even the most modern Gerald R. Ford, which has become the main trump card of the American fleet. But even he does not have a deck 320 meters long and 78 meters wide. It's like three football fields. Speaking about the main advantage of these ships, that is, the aircraft launch system, it is important to mention that the Type 001 and 002 aircraft carriers use the Soviet Stobar system, that is, when the aircraft land, a cable with a hook immediately works, which helps to stop. But at launch, the planes jump into the sea from a springboard. Such a mechanism is quite reliable, but already quite outdated because it was developed back in the USR. Initially, China purchased one ship from Soviet designers to study its design and create its own prototype. For China, this is already a proven tactic to purchase, study, disassemble, and recreate. Having trained on Stobar, China understood all the shortcomings of the aircraft launch system and switched to an ejection system in the new Type 003. Moreover, he uses ultra-modern electromagnetic catapults, while the Americans use steam ones, plus one for China. There is still no official data on the armament of the ship. This is understandable, because it would be stupid to reveal all the trump cards ahead of time. But we still managed to find in open sources that the latest large-caliber art systems will be installed on such a giant. Such weapons cannot be compared with ground artillery systems. After all, a shot from such a colossus can wipe even a small island off the face of the earth. Of course, protection was also taken care of by installing powerful air defense systems on the ship. No planes or missiles can get past, and if they dare get close enough, they'll feel a barrage of bullets, homing projectiles, and maybe even lasers. But the main essence of aircraft carriers is not in the number of stationary weapons, but in the aircraft that it carries. Like a steel swarm of Type 003Bs, 40 Shenyang FC-31 fighters will cover. This fifth-generation stealth aircraft is capable of reaching speeds of 2,200 km or 1,367 miles per hour. Under the wing it has supersonic missiles with interchangeable warheads. Even one such fighter at full speed is capable of destroying an enemy base. But imagine what 40 of these are capable of. In terms of layout and technological stuffing, the FC-31 is similar to the American F-22 fighters from Lockheed Martin. So the United States has something to counter such a swarm. However, the Chinese have an ace up their sleeve. Surely you have heard of combat drones. Today, it is an advanced branch of the development of advanced technologies. There are already such drones that can easily withstand even the best enemy equipment in battle. Flying robots are good, but few people know that quite recently the Chinese launched a real unmanned aircraft carrier. It is called Zhu Haiyan and is equipped with a nuclear engine. It will carry a whole fleet of various drones, airborne, surface and underwater. It seems that this is fantasy. But the modern world is getting closer and closer to the canons of the future from movies and books. 
The ship was built by a division of China's state-owned shipbuilding corporation. According to the government, its displacement is 2,000 tons, with a maximum speed of 18 knots. Dozens of different unmanned vehicles will be placed on board, including small boats and submersibles, which together are designed to create a system for monitoring and intercepting targets. The list of flying drones may include such giants as the WBC-7 Sword Dragon and Wing Long 2. The first one is capable of reconnaissance at a distance of up to 10,000 kilometers, while at an altitude of over 18 kilometers. Not even a fly can hide from it, because the latest optical systems are installed under its body. The second drone is a strike drone and uses 12 guided missiles, as well as laser-guided bombs as means of destruction. All this will be managed by a single artificial intelligence capable of coordinating launch, movement, and return to board. A fully autonomous ship will operate only on the high seas. Navigation near the ports will be carried out by means of remote control. China is very proud that all Zhu Haiyun components, software and hardware are designed and manufactured in their country, without the involvement of external specialists and industries. This also applies to artificial intelligence and visual information recognition systems, as well as power and propulsion systems. The launch of this platform indicates China's enormous scientific and technological potential, and the creation of a fully autonomous system of this kind requires large resources. And the most amazing thing is that it was built in less than a year. Officially, the ship is a purely scientific vessel, and according to statements, will be used to monitor the coastal part. But we all understand that official statements are not always true. Experts from all over the world are already making reasonable suggestions that the ship actually carries combat drones. One of these may be the Jari unmanned combat boat created by the shipbuilding company. This is a response to the U.S. Navy's ongoing efforts to use drone technology to fight on the surface and underwater in hard-to-reach areas such as the South China Sea. The Jari surface drone is designed to secure the coastal zone. The range of tasks performed by the boat includes preventing penetration into the territorial waters of the PRC, as well as covering surface ships of the Chinese Coast Guard from attack by the United States. Now, when aircraft carriers like Type 003 and Zhu Haiyun appeared, this baby can accompany them too. The boat has a length of 15 meters, a speed of 2 knots, and an autonomous navigation range of 500 nautical miles. Under the skin of Jari, the latest electro-optical sensors, a phrased array radar, a sonar and other cool technical stuffing are hidden. Depending on the assigned combat mission, the boat can be armed with a nuclear missile launcher, a torpedo tube, or another remotely controlled combat drone with a 30mm automatic cannon. As the main means for delivering strikes, eight compact anti-tank missiles of the HJ-10 family are used, placed in built-in launch containers. Management of all means will be carried out mainly due to the work of artificial intelligence, but if necessary the boat can be remotely connected via a remote control and give commands manually. This will avoid emergency situations in case of software failure. This whole system also resembles the sensational Russian Poseidon. It also carries nuclear weapons and is also controlled remotely, but the range of tasks for the Chinese boat is wider. But even the appearance of such samples as Jari and Type 003 does not mean the end of the development of marine technologies. In fact, we are only at the very beginning of the arms race that has just started. The goal of the PRC is aircraft carriers with a nuclear power plant, and this is just a step towards it. That is why there is only one ship in this class. In fact, the development of Type 004 with a nuclear power plant, and even more displacement, is already underway. But even the appearance of such samples as Jari and Type 003 does not mean the end of the development of marine technologies. In fact, we are only at the very beginning of the arms race that has just started. The goal of the PRC is aircraft carriers with a nuclear power plant, and this is just a step towards it. That is why there is only one ship in this class. In fact, the development of Type 004 with a nuclear power plant and even more displacement is already underway. In 2017, metal cutting began and the installation of super-heavy cranes for the construction of the hull began. Even experimental molten salt nuclear reactors were tested in 2020. It is believed that Type 004 reactors will be able to produce enough power to power both electromagnetic catapults and laser weapons. The fourth-generation ships will be able to reach speeds of more than 30 knots and carry up to 100 aircraft and helicopters. 
plus a variety of unmanned aerial vehicles including stealth. And now let's imagine a picture of how in the middle of the ocean, there is a fleet of the latest aircraft carriers around which several hundred of the most powerful fighters and drones fly, and nearby float boats with nuclear missiles. This is truly great power, which China has been striving for a very long time. Thanks for watching this video. Write in the comments, did the Chinese aircraft carrier impress you? Do like and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Goodbye.